A video tutorial in which I will explain how to name a binary molecular compound or how to write the chemical formula of a binary molecular compound. First of all, you need to know the name of the prefixes, the numbers. Number one means mono, two di, three tri, and etc. As shown in this table below. So first, let's look at the first example, N2O5. Now, the rule to name this compound. First, you write the name of the first atom, which is nitrogen. And then you write the name of the second atom, oxygen. You write the name of the number as a prefix. So, 2 is di and 5 is penta. And then you do a small change to the suffix of the second element. The second element, you must change the termination to "-ide". So if I look at the name, dinitrogen pentoxide. If there are two letters next to each other, you can skip the A and the O and just write pentoxide. Dinitrogen pentoxide. So the prefix di is attached to the name nitrogen, designating that I have two nitrogen atoms in this molecule, and the prefix penta is attached to the oxide, meaning that I have five oxygen in this compound. Let's take another example PCl5. So P is phosphorus, phosphorus. And Cl is chlorine, phosphorus, and Cl is chlorine. As I mentioned, the termination of the second element only must be changed to ide. So instead of writing chlorine, I will write chloride. Now, for the numbers, if there is no number here, it means it is 1. So 1 is mono, but Part of this, rule, of this rule says that if there must be a mono at the beginning, you omit. You do not start your name with mono. You do not start the name of your molecule with mono. So here, no need to put mono. We do not say monophosphorus because it's the first element. But if it was the second element, one, it is okay to write mono in the middle of the name. But it's wrong to start mono at the beginning of the name. Now the 5. 5 means penta. So I'm going to write penta prefix next to chloride. Now let's do the opposite. And take the name to write the formula. So sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur is the S. Fluoride is the F. Now, the hexa is attached to the fluoride, and hexa means 6. Since there is nothing before the sulfur, it means I have 1 sulfur. And SF6 is the final formula. Now, carbon monoxide. The last example in this tutorial. Carbon is C. Oxide is the oxygen. Now, in the middle, as I mentioned, it is okay to write mono, meaning that I have one O. But I don't have to mention monocarbon at the beginning. Not mentioning any prefix next to the first atom means that you have one of that atom. So carbon monoxide formula is CO.